Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be answering one of your frequently asked questions. What settings do you use on LD Player? Now this video is sponsored by LD Player, so without any further ado, let's just jump into it. So many of you guys in the comments have been telling me that you enjoy watching my videos, but you're waiting for a good time to start Epic 7 yourself. Now, that's where LD Player 9 comes in. Adapted from Android Pie, LD Player 9 boasts increased compatibility with your favorite mobile games, supporting both 64-bit and 32-bit APKs, so there's no need to worry about whether you have the right version installed, or which one is more optimal for the games that you're playing. Now, one of my favorite features of LD Player that I use on a regular basis is actually their key map settings. It's extremely easy to set up, and it helps me through mundane tasks in Epic 7, such as refreshing the secret shop for bookmarks. Now, as you can see there, I did not move my mouse cursor even close to the buttons that I'm uh, pressing on the screen right now, and the reason I can do that is because of this. If you go ahead and click on the key mapping, uh, on the right side of LD Player, you can see it brings up this menu. Now it looks complex, but it's really easy to use. Let me show you how. I have two things bound right here, one on the left and one in the center of my screen. I'm gonna go ahead and remove both of these markers, and we'll do this again. Now, if I want to go ahead and bind shift to this uh, refresh button down here, I'm just gonna click where I want on the screen and then click the button that I want to bind to it. After that, I can go ahead and click Save. Now, I can see that if I click my Shift button, this menu pops up. Now, if I want to click the Confirm button here, I can go ahead and map another key onto the Confirm button. I'll use Spacebar for this, and then I click Save, and then we are done. So going back in here, if I click Spacebar, and now I can refresh, and oh, look at that! <laughs> Getting bookmarks already. With the upcoming collaboration with Full Metal Alchemist, a fourth anniversary celebration, and the Epic 7 World Championship, there is no better time to start than now. Click the link in the description down below to download and install LD Player 9 today. So now that you have LD Player 9 installed, I can walk you through my settings. But before you try to optimize these settings, the first thing you have to do when you're running an emulator is to turn on virtualization. Now it's not something I can really walk you through because you have to go into your BIOS to change that setting, but I will link uh, LD Player's official guide to how to set up your virtualization in the description and the pinned comments down below. Please make sure that you do that before moving on to these steps because it will drastically improve the performance of your emulator. So to find your settings, you can go to the menu button in the top right hand corner, click that for a drop down menu, and then go ahead and click settings. The alternative way is to go ahead and click on this little hexagon in the top right hand corner, and that can bring it up directly as well. Now, first thing here we see is our resolution. My desktop computer is running on a 1920 by 1080 monitor, so that's what I have it set to. The CPU and the RAM down here really dictate the performance of your emulator. Now, I've found that 4 cores and 4 gigabytes of RAM is way more than enough for uh, the things that I do, so I just have a set there. If you're finding performance issues, uh, you might want to try and tweak around with the CPU and the RAM uh, and try different allocations until you get a combination that works best for you. Down here, managing disk space, uh, I just have to automatically expand when there's not enough. So, you know, the, it, it really doesn't uh, ever run out. All right, moving on to the models here. This information really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what phone setting pre-models, uh, preset models and stuff that you're using. Uh, down here, though, you see that there's a high frame rate at 90 FPS and there's a high frame rate at 120 FPS. This also does not really matter because if we move on into the game settings, you see that our frame rate is set to 60 FPS. And if you're playing something like Epic 7, if you enable the high quality media pack, you're also going to have your game up to 60 FPS. So there's no real need to go ahead and set this higher than this. If you do want to though, you can click the enable high frame rate and you can set it to 120 or something like that if you're playing different games. 
Now, in the advanced options here, I've disabled the vertical sync because that is usually not a, a huge problem for me. And I disabled the ASTC texture support. The, uh, disabling these two can help your game run a bit smoother. I've never really run into any vertical sync issues in Epic 7. And um, ASTC uh, textures is really only for special games that support that feature. All right, so moving on, we have the audio settings. You can set this to whatever you'd like. Uh, some games have uh, in-game voice and stuff if you're playing FPSs and things like that. Um, but yeah, generally, that's gonna be up to you. Uh, for the network here, uh, I just don't have any of these touched. Just uh, network is unchecked, and for network bridging, it's on disable. For the shortcuts here, you can go ahead and customize all of these buttons here. A lot of these buttons are actually on the right side of your emulator. So you can go ahead and customize any of these that you'd like for ease of access, especially if you're in full screen mode, uh, which is F11 by default. Uh, you can actually trigger all of these uh, different buttons with your function keys uh, while you're in full screen. You can also ch uh, change your wallpaper for LD Player, and here are my other settings that I have. Now, if you like things like uh, Locked in Landscape, you can enable that. If you want fixed window sizes, which I actually really do like as a feature, uh, you can enable that as well. Um, you can en enable to run at startup, which I don't. I typically like manually opening my applications. Uh, there's a tab mode, which allows you to shuffle through the tabs and uh, I have root disabled, right? You don't want root enabled for uh, a lot of your games. All right, so that's pretty much it for my LD player settings. Now, I am gonna hop into Epic 7 and show you my Epic 7 settings because that could also make a difference when you're playing. Now, going up to the top right hand corner, uh, go into the settings key, that little cog in the bottom right, and now you can see uh, your game settings right here. So clicking on the settings button, I have my high quality support turned on. This makes sure that the game runs at 60 FPS. If you're having uh, difficulty running uh, the game on higher quality, you can always disable this. Uh, and then you, you could also run low quality mode, but I don't really recommend it. Uh, the next thing I also have is the high definition media pack. This allows your S3 animations to be uh, smooth and crisp and sharp and uh, keeps things looking real nice while you're playing. And so that just about does it for my LD Player and my Epic 7 settings. If you guys have any questions about LD Player or you're having trouble figuring things out, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below letting me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.